now that we've replaced the fiber bowden tube, we can't forget to replace the fiber load tube as well. All we need for this replacement is a 2mm hex key and a new desktop fiber load tube. First step would be to verify that all our fiber filament is completely unloaded from the machine. Once the fiber has been unloaded, we will use a 2mm hex key to loosen, but not remove, the top right screw on the fiber extruder. Detach the fiber feed tube from the inlet of the fiber extruder. We will then pass this tube through the channel at the bottom of the plastic extruder towards the back of the printer. Once this tube has cleared the plastic extruder, we will remove the feed tube through the channel behind the rail at the back of the printer. We will now begin to install our new tube. We want to pass the new tube up through the channel behind the rail at the back of the printer. Then we will pass that tube through the channel at the bottom of the plastic extruder towards the front of the printer. Finally, we will insert that feed tube into the slot on the right side of the fiber extruder and use a 2mm hex key to tighten the top right screw until it secures the fiber feed tube. Once we completed the replacement of the fiber feed tube, we will now reset the fiber feed tube counter on our printer. Updating this counter will allow your device to warn you proactively when the fiber bone and tube next needs to be replaced. To reset this counter, simply navigate to the menu, Utilities, Maintenance, and Maintenance Schedule. You should replace this fiber feed tube every 750 cubic centimeters of printed fiber or if you notice excessive damage or wear on your tube.